Good morning, San Jose Middle School Scorpions. Today is Monday and it is the 1st of June. I'm hoping that you got a chance to get on the watch party with Ms. Cosentino to see the SpaceX launch this weekend. It was an exciting and thrilling time uh, to see. Students, we have a ton of announcements today, just a million, so I want to go reasonably quickly, but remember, you do have these slides to remind you. On Tuesday, um, you have an opportunity to see a live Zoom drama performance, the first ever. It's called 10 Ways to Survive Life in Quarantine. It's at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Here is the Zoom link right here. So all you need to do is sit down at 6 p.m. and watch a drama production. If you haven't seen a San Jose Middle School drama production before, you are in for a treat. Don't miss it. Sixth graders, it is time for you to come and bring us back our textbooks, pick up your things, and get your yearbook. We will be... Um, organizing this very carefully. Students, you need to understand that this is a little bit nerve wracking for everyone. We need you to come and be safe. We want you to be safe. We want our staff to be safe. So this is not an opportunity for you to come and chat with friends. We're going to enforce social distancing. You need to have a mask on. Uh, we want you to do this quickly and efficiently so that your safety is um, secured. So sixth grade, you can come on Monday between 9 and 11 if your last name starts between A, or A and L. Last name M to Z, you can come from 11 to 1. So you can see the schedule on Monday or Tuesday. We are expecting sixth graders. It's important to know that the front office will be closed. No one can go in the front office. If anybody needs anything, your parents need something, you need something, you need to call on the phone and we'll take care of it for you. Okay, we're trying to protect everybody here. It's important. Here's just the rules again. Remember, you need to have a mask on and bring a bag so that you can carry around all your stuff. Please, please, please bring our textbooks back. And remember, you do not need to return your Chromebook. Uh, if you if you ordered a yearbook, please remember that you ordered it and try to remember if it's personalized or not. Uh, if you still would like to have a yearbook and you didn't order one, you can. You can put $45 in an envelope or a check in an envelope with your name on the outside. We can't make any change and we cannot touch this money. So it needs to be in an envelope. So do that for us. Thank you. Hey, there is still a chance for you to be a web leader if you are a current seventh grader. If you um, are a person who likes to help other kids, and let's be frank, next year could be a tough year. So we're really worried about our incoming sixth graders and we want to do stuff for them over the summer. So are you a person that might be able to actually check your email over the summer? Do you want to be a web leader? Then click on that form right there and tell us that you want to be a web leader. If you already signed up, you don't have to do it again, but you can. Don't worry. Just click on that form and let us know if you're a person that wants to be a leader. We are especially looking for students who are bilingual. So if you are bilingual, do not hesitate. We need you. Uh, again, still chance to be part of the leadership class. Just fill out the leadership application right here and talk to Mr. Curtez. They have a few spots left, I think. Here's an announcement from leadership right now. These are the people who won the award for the World Animal Drawing Contest. You'll get your prizes in the mail, winners, and they were so very close, sometimes separated by only one point. So here's our first place winner, Valentina Nitya is our second place winner, and Camilla Orozco is our third place winner. So thank you all for participating. I like that about you. Hey, eighth graders, we're trying our best to make our eighth grade promotion as special as it can be. And so instead of just a speech, we're trying to give everyone a voice. So please make a video, 10 to 20 seconds, peaks and valleys during shelter in place and send it to this tribute uh, link right there. Teachers are invited and encouraged to participate. Today is the very last day Ms. Baraban has extended it for us. Hey, we got a drive through promotion coming to June 11th at 1 p.m. Students, we are going to have to stagger um, our arrival times for that because we can't have 200 people lining up on Sunset Boulevard. So hang tight. We're going to give you the directions. But remember, you're going to be in the car with a mask on with your family members in the car. Nobody on their feet 
will be involved or will be allowed on campus. So you need to be in a car to be in the drive through promotion. Monday, this is our schedule, so hopefully you're on your way to math, then science, and then electives. Hey students, I know that it's tempting to give up right now and stop working. But remember, you're gonna have the summer in front of you with really not much to do except maybe the occasional IXL practice or book reading. So take advantage of being with your teachers and your classmates and try to stay engaged through these last few weeks of school. We have less than two weeks left, it's hard to believe. Now students, I do wanna to talk to you about something that's a little bit more serious and here it is. Um, you are aware, I'm sure, that there are many protests and some, most of them, some of them very violent um, at this time and that the country is grieving about the death of a black man who was killed by a police officer. There are several other incidents that people are also grieving about and angry about. So I know it's hard to make sense of these times, but I think that at the very least, we can think about um, a desire for peace. And we can think about what we can do as our own people to remove racism as a part of our community life. So we have this little um, saying here, we stand in support of racial equality and all of those who search for it. That's actually was on the Google um, screen today. But I'm sure that uh, this seems to be a frightening uh, time for you. It's a frightening time for many adults. Um, we are saddened um, by what we're seeing. We're saddened by what we're learning. And we're um, sad about the experiences of fellow human beings. So I ask you to think positively about what you can do to make a change in the world and stand up for racial equality wherever you can. So students make today a better day. Thank you.